Um, so the holidays are approaching, several of the holidays, whichever of them that you like to celebrate. Um, or maybe you just like to buy stuff around this time of year because retailers like us are marketing all kinds of wonderful things and you just get excited about that. That's totally cool too. Um, so we have some things that we wanted to uh, just feature and kind of point you to if you happen to be in that, uh, you know, shopping spirit or browsing spirit even. Um, so we have a holiday guide section on our website. You can find everything there. We're not gonna talk about everything there because there's just a whole heck of a lot of stuff. Um, but Drew and I just wanted to kind of curate a list, maybe get some things together to pique your interest, point out some of the things that we think make some, some really good gifts, you know, give you a little bit of a concierge service here. Um, so we're gonna kind of talk about how we have things broken down, highlight some of the products, and then uh, let you go on and check them out on the site. So how's that sound? Sounds beautiful. And uh, right. I will say that um, our team here spent a lot of time curating this for you. We really, really hope that it helps. Mm -hmm. And we also took some photography just for this as well. So a lot of Absolutely. these groups are gonna have their own specific photos. So you'll be able to take a look at those as well. And we'll put them in the pen cast also. So yeah. there you have it. So yeah. starting off, we have the under $30 section, and you can find this and all of the others we're gonna be talking about on the main page of our website. You'll see holiday shopping guides, click on that, and then you'll see everything broken down. So the first one is the under $30 category. And if you're shopping for a new pen user, or you just wanna get started yourself, or find, or wanna find just you know one of the more affordable accessories, this is obviously the place to go for that. You'll see a lot of starter pens in this section, like um, notebook sampler package sets, cleaning stuff is all here, which is always good. That's a good gift too, because it's not super fun to buy. Buying, mm -hmm. if, if someone doesn't already have a bulb syringe and you know they use fountain pens, buy them a bulb syringe. Like seriously, yes. you are doing them a favor. Do that. And then and of course- if, if you already have a bulb syringe, having a second one, you will not be mad because you'll be like, great, now I can keep one in my office and at home, or I can keep it in my car or my backpack or hiking on the trail. Like there's so many options. Hiking on the trail, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah, when you need to clean out your pen and you want to use some of that creek water, you mm -hmm. can use that bulb syringe and just rock on. Don't you know? listen to him right now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> also, one of uh, some some of my favorite deals here are the uh, Monteverde Monza Three set and the Diplomat. Um, uh, Magnum. So the Monza 3 comes with a couple different nibs. They're both super affordable pens, great starters, but mm -hmm. they're part of the Yaffa brand's ink deal. So with these two pens, not only are you going to get an affordable pen, but it's going to come with a free bottle of ink. So boom, nice. Yeah. And that free ink is valued at 16 bucks. So yeah. it's, it's almost like you're getting a free pen. Yeah, kinda. yeah. seriously, you can think um, of it as buying a bottle of ink and getting a free pen. Boom. Pretty pretty close. Yep. All right. Uh, next one we got is the under $50. So if you got a little bit more of a budget, that's cool. Some good pen storage options there. Some maybe entry-level combo sets, which are some of my favorites. So you got Lamy Safari and Vista sets. So it's not just the pen, but it's the pen. You get the converter and a bottle of ink or the pen and maybe a set of different color cards. Cartridges. So it's basically a really good way to get set up and going, uh, you know, kind of from scratch. So that's where it makes for really good gifts. The packaging and the presentation is also really nice. We pretty much only have these available around this time of year. Um, we've done it with Lamy several times. This is the first one um, that we've done with other brands like Diplomat, which is not in the under $50 range, um, but uh, also worth a mention. Um, we have another one that's the Come Sail Away set, which I love the name of that. Um, so that is uh, something that's on sale. It's normally $63, but it's on sale for 40. So this is the Sailor Compass, which comes with a converter and ink to go with it. So you're not as packaged as the Lamy set, but still a great pen and you get the ink and everything ready to go with it. Um, a good pen storage option is the Monteverde 36 pen case, um, 40 bucks, holds 36 pens. Some of the best like pen, like per dollar storage option that you're gonna have. And uh, the only thing that I'll caution about that is whatever pen storage you get, you'll tend to fill up. So if you have four pens and you buy a 36 pen case, just be aware you're probably gonna buy a lot more pens. <laughs> what tends to happen. And I can attest to that, having filled many, 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 many different pen cases. Uh, many. Yep. <laughs> um, next up, we have the 50 to $100 range. And this is where we're gonna start seeing some of those next level pens that we often talk about, as well as some premium ink storage. So like some nice leather cases and stuff like that, as well as some larger ink sets like uh, Diamine and Monteverde both have these ink collections that are packaged with several 
bottles of ink, um, like a lot of the times ink that you can't get anywhere else as well. I mean, you can get them as samples sometimes, but it's a great way to present somebody with a gift of a lot of lovely packaged ink. And then the Lamy All-Star sets are also going to be in this range. So a lot of bang for your buck there as well. And you will be getting them at a discount and they're packaged nicely and cleanly. And you can just give it to somebody with minimal effort on your part. That's what the season's all about, right? Yes, indeed. Minimal effort. I'm just kidding. Um, moving on up to the 100 to $250 range, a little bit bigger range there, obviously. Um, that's when you start getting into your entry-level gold nib pens. We got some great videos on these types of pens, um, but uh, you know some of our favorites, Lamy 2000, Pilot Vanishing Point, Custom 74, Drew's all about his E95S. Um, so you have a lot of great options for pens that are really, really good. We don't have like crazy sales or anything on these, but um, just ones that we wanted to highlight just as really just fantastic, fantastic pens really for any time of year. But um, if you're shopping in that price range, these are great ones to go to because it's just a really solid kind of introduction um, to those gold nib pens. But is it as solid as the 250 to $500 range, Brian? Because in this range, you're getting some of the most iconic lifetime pens like the Pilot Custom 823. Mm. Boom. If you want to get somebody mm. a pen that is just going to be their pen for a very, very, very long time, Custom 823, Diplomat Arrow is going to be in here, as well mm -hmm. as a lot of the sailors. So we're talking the Pro Gear, the Pro Gear Slim, the 1911, 1911S, like all of those you know, mm -hmm. iconic sailor pens and the 823, the, those really, those pens that are going to last you a very, very long time. And honestly, this is coming from a fountain pen, realer, fountain pen retailer saying this. If you buy one of these pens, you're only going to need one. They're so good. They're that good. Now, you're going to want more. I'm, mm. That want has oh, nothing yeah. to do with it. For sure. You're, you're definitely going to want more. But as far as need goes, the pens in this range, choice. There you go. And then, of course, Drew, as you always know, the more money you spend, the happier you're going to be or make the person that you give the gift to. I'm you got to fill kidding. up that 36 pen but case. <laughs> just because we have everything broken out by price, I'll talk about the over $500, which is basically everything else. Um, this is the uh, Drew, Drew classified this in the notes as the luxury zone. So we have now entered the luxury zone. Um, you get into, into some really interesting materials here, stuff that's made of lava cooled lava don't don't get concerned um we got some sterling silver some urushi etc some really interesting materials going on gorgeous theming and some interesting filling mechanisms and stuff you got your visconti homo sapiens which i'm still partial to the bronze age the og you got the st dupont line d you've got the standard version as well as the space odyssey which is pretty rad looking you got a lot of urushi options from pilot namiki and tacha so there's some really cool pens when you start to get into this zone probably not something that most people are shopping for but hey you never know you never know some good ones to check out there yep. and then uh gotta give a Kind of a casual mention here to the um, gift credit as well. So, if you, you know, shipping is of concern. I know things are, we're kind of preparing for anything to happen with shipping this year because it was definitely a little crazy last year. We saw some major delays. We have no idea what we're in for this year. So it's always good to shop on the earlier side if you have shipping concerns. But hey, worst case, you always got gift credit. Then people can get exactly what they want. It's always the right size and always the right color, right? Um, so that's really good. Um, and also, if you're shopping for somebody that's got a large collection, I know sometimes it can be really difficult to know. It's like, I don't know what nib size they want. I don't know whatever. So when I'm in that situation and I want to get something for somebody that's really specific, I'll get them like a gift credit or something at that particular store. Like we're a boutique store. If somebody, if you get somebody a gift credit to a store like ours, they already know, like they have spent more time trying to get me something that I know I'm going to like than the average. It's not just like a restaurant gift card or something. It's something very specific. Um, but then I'll like, I'll actually print out a picture of the thing that I was intending to get and be like, Hey, I was going to get you this, but I had no idea what nib size. And I really didn't want to buy the wrong thing to me when I get something like that. Cause I have a bunch of weird hobbies. Um, I will appreciate that as much as the actual thing. So, um, always a good thought as well. So um, my personal kind of favorites from this list um, are probably more on the lower end, actually. I like the pen sets, the Diplomats and the Lamis. Um, and then I really like the Urban the 1670 ink set. That's kind of new. Um, typically, you've had to buy those either in ink samples, which are, you know, great to be able to test them, but, you know, they're not the most presentable thing. Um, or you'd have to get full bottles of all the colors. So I really like the $55 set that's got all the ink colors in there. It looks really cool. 
for sure. And I think that you? just another reminder to go back to those box sets. So both Lamy and Diplomat, we're doing actual box sets with those. We have a lot of package mm -hmm. sets, but those package sets, yeah. we've grouped those up kind of on the back end. They're all still going to be divided when you receive them. But the Lamy yeah. sets and the Diplomat sets, if we have it mm -hmm. pictured with a box, that means you're getting it in that box. So yes. just keep that in mind. The Diplomat sets are new this year. You get the pen, you mm -hmm. get a little pen sleeve and some ink. And yep. the Lamy sets, there are a bunch of different versions, cartridge versions, ink bottle versions, stuff like that. But that is a great mm -hmm. way to, you know, like I said earlier, minimal effort sort of thing. But also just, it's also going the extra mile and giving them something that is already presented really, really nicely. So keep those in mind. That's something uh, new for this year that we're really excited to provide. And as far as my personal favorites, I've really kind of fallen in love with Twisby Inks, Brian. Mm. Uh, they're, they're, they're well behaved. They are beautifully presented. That was one yeah. of my favorite things in giving gifts. Those bottles are cool. Yes, they're so good looking and they're not too much ink. They're not intimidating. And Twisby does a really good job in branding everything very cohesively. I really enjoy mm -hmm. how all their stuff looks good when it's together. And as far as giving gifts, I, I think that there's a value there. So uh, they have a color combo six pack for $34.99 that gives you six bottles, glass bottles of ink for not a lot of money. So that is actually mm -hmm. a heck of a deal right there. And as far as giving gifts, one of my favorite gifts to give is the Pilot Parallel Pen. And I'm sorry if I just mm. popped th three times right there. Um, <laughs> Pilot Parallel Pen. Um, the They are really fun to use, but they might look a little weird and intimidating. So just giving in with somebody and say, hey, this comes with a little sheet, tells you what to do, how to use them. It's a ton mm -hmm. of fun, especially if you yeah. have somebody that wants to get into actually any calligraphy or hand lettering and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They're affordable, a lot of bang for your buck, and a ton of fun. So check those out too. Nice. Good stuff, Drew.